Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on miscellaneous factoring. A special puzzle to warm up the brain cells is on the next slide. The answer will be given at the end. Enjoy. What is the meaning of the following? Good luck with it and see how you go. If you would like to subscribe now, please do so here, otherwise you can subscribe at the end. Factoring Revisited In earlier videos we looked at how to factorise basic algebraic expressions. In this video we will go a step further and see how to factorise more involved expressions. A reminder about factoring. We need to remember that factoring involves writing a number or algebraic expression as a product of numbers or terms. This is the very important key word here product. Here are some examples. 6 is the product of 2 and 3. That's quite straightforward. AB plus AC is the product of A and B plus C. 6Y plus 8M is the product of 2 and 3Y plus 4M. This 2, for example, is the highest common factor of 6 and 8. That's why we write it there. 4y and 2y plus 3m, if we multiply those together, it will give us these terms here. So that's what we mean by factoring. More involved factoring. I'd like you to look at these three very important examples which we have seen in earlier videos. a squared plus 2ab plus b squared is a plus b all squared. a squared minus 2ab plus b squared is a minus b all squared. And a squared minus b squared is a plus b times a minus b. These are very very important and they'll occur very very often when you're dealing with factoring or you're trying to do factorization of algebraic expressions. They're very important to memorize. Let's look at factoring 4m squared minus 16. Now, 4m squared minus 16 is 4 outside of m squared minus 4. That's pretty obvious because 4 is the highest common factor of 4 and 16. Now m squared minus 4 is m squared minus 2 squared, which is the same as here. It looks the same. So the answer will be 4 outside of m plus 2, m minus 2, because when we factorise m squared minus 2 squared, that's the answer there. 16w the fourth minus m to the power of 4. That's 4w squared all squared minus m squared all squared, which is the same as here. So we have 4w squared minus m squared, 4w squared plus m squared. Now if we look at those two terms there, we can factorise those there. So this is the final answer we have factorised here. And if you expand all that out, that will give you those terms there. Some slightly more challenging examples. If we're asked to factorise 4 minus a plus b all squared. Now 4 is 2 squared, so that's 2 squared minus a plus b all squared. So this is in the same format as a squared minus b squared. So that's 2 minus a plus b, 2 plus a plus b. So if we remove the grouping symbols, we have 2 minus a minus b, 2 plus a plus b. Now x squared minus ab minus a plus x squared b. Now sometimes in order to do a sum like this, you rearrange the terms. So what I've done here, I've rearranged these terms here. This is exactly the same as what we have on the left hand side except I've just rearranged the terms. You can see why. If we look at the first two terms, 
we take x squared outside of the brackets and I'm left with 1 plus b. That's very obvious. For the last two terms here, if I take minus a outside of the brackets, I'm left with 1 plus b. Now, 1 plus b occurs there, and 1 plus b occurs there. So we have 1 plus b outside of x squared minus a, and that's the answer. The next one, 2 outside of a plus b all squared minus 2m squared. All we do here, we take the 2 outside the bracket, and we're left with 2 outside of a plus b all squared minus m squared. What we have here, this is the same format as a squared minus b squared. So it's 2 outside of a plus b plus m times a plus b minus m. So that's the answer. Here is a quick quiz to test your understanding. Please check through the video at any time. What is the meaning of the following? This is the answer to the earlier puzzle. Inside out. Now, I'll just give you a clue by highlighting that. I think you should be able to work that out. Here are the answers to the quick quiz and please check through the video at any time. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe on the next slide and you will receive a notification as to when the next video is available. Hope to see you next lesson.